Do not throw this. We're trying to corner those also. mine and a lot of broken trees it's like a stampede went through is this where the bristlebacks came from but how 
Unless... this cave leads out of the Daunt. Okay, let's see where this leads. Take a look at where the smoke's coming from. <coughs> There's a lot of smoke. It looks like mine runs pretty far back. a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. So that's addressed to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oland must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. Blasting in the mine. Trying to squeeze it for all it's worth. Until Bristleback stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where?
you need shards, there's a salvage operation to the west. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think. That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry. So thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience. Well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King, even with the valley working again. Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. I need to go. Of course. Embassy, the Gala's rebels were riding bristlebacks. If they attack from the north, they might have a camp up that way. Get down. This isn't a place for a machine. If you're interested, there's an ostrom close by offering salvage.
from the main camp. That might be where Regal is keeping her machines. I need to find a way to get in there. I could scan the area to see what I'm up against. And tag any rebels or machines in my focus to keep track of them. Now to see what the rebels were up to here. I'm gonna check in that cave. Drawbridge. Might be my way across. That's well, one half of the bridge. I'm gonna drop the other side. There. Bridge is down. fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Alvin's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know.
going on at that camp? Took a hammer to your head. Hey, what happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get to climbing. Welcome, Elvin.
So, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The Bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Olven's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the Daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the Bristlebacks, it's Olvent. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the savior, the sun has shown the truth on the bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the Daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja... I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvent. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the Bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear Magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. And that's not the only mine you've been squeezing. Corvin's crew would have drowned if it weren't for Aloy. <laughs> I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The Bristlebacks, the mine. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? <laughs> oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... No, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. <sighs> You think she can run this scorched out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, no! Don't want you! No! Don't need you! Down with all of us! Get off me! Mud looks good on you, Albend. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Watch where you're going. You see him say hi to Lauren for me, yeah? Hey, He's part of the salvage crew. I'll pet okay. the bear on Shoot. What's this? Proper <laughs> you. 
The machine hunter that bailed out the Karja. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed it myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the shadow cars of filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. Give it a rest, you look like you. you're reaching for a fight, friend. Oh, look at this mess. Nora, if you need shards, there's a salvage operation to the west. this People are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things for That's the last of them. 
Better check on the refugees. Always wanted to see the savior of Meridian in action. Guess the show's over. I should dismount. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? No strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Our order has made it this far, thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in Shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery. Lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Sabohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well? They're going to try. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure, but shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. 
You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation. This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation. If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days. Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. I'm higher. Ladder must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. to make the jump to the other side. That's a lot of blood. Savohars? There's the Stormbird. Getting closer. Take them out.
acid. Sabohar, in pretty bad shape. The true sun above me, the true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. <laughs> the true sun above me. You must be Sabohar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. <laughs> Must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh, God. The ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. My people will find their home. What do you think's gonna happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? To a new home. The fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. Oh, no. <laughs> Salvation is a hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. Akasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. Look, I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide, <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter, security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. is valuable enough to feed all the refugees waiting below and his answer is sunstroke and a prayer why does every priest i meet think blind faith is the answer to everything
The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back up. Savahar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. You sure you want to do that, Tolland? You know who I am. What makes you think a single Osram lunkhead can take me down? I've got four guys. Huh? Ah, oh, blast it. <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savahar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest. But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then.
going for from here. Son, it's the same. to catch you soon. close to a cauldron. There may be more machine override you could acquire from its core. I will mark its location in your focus. Okay, thanks, guy. A cauldron. If I can reach its core, I should get enough data to override some more machines.
Here's the card to Huntress. Hunter is promised. And they have company. for an opening. Care to join the hunt? Sunhawk Talana Kain Kadish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Renma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. So, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. The Hunter Killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize the lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it, as soon as I find Amadis. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the Lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. There now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. 
All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battlefield's this way. It's from my stash when I need it. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? I've got your back, anyway. Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came. This is the field, where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osram. It's too many to tell if Amadis is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? A Karja weapon. The blades rusted. Must have been from the battle years ago. Cooking fire. Looks recent. Whoever was here camped out for at least a night. Hmm. Light prints. Not Osirum, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Utaru? What's he doing out here? Maybe he saw Amadis. Let's Our ask vendors. him. Do not worry. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone. Clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here. Poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army. Charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. 
Most burned. But others, the Tinakht marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakt prison, or a Karza graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west, in Tanakt territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amatis. Lead on. You mentioned Amatis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakhs took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. Bridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. I haven't seen us yet. Who can use that? Hawk and thrush, just like old times. Good aim! You've got a sweet spot! Good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. It's a dead end. Looks like a cave-in. So what happened to the caravan? Let's look around. Maybe your second sight can help? This door needs some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. Bunch of Osram supplies. A dead end. A 
There's not much else in here. Better head back to the main tunnel. Lana, I think I found something in the rubble. What is it? What does it say? It was part of the caravan that went through here. I know it ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. They set up a camp on the other side. I think I've been to it. I didn't see a Karja there, but that doesn't mean he didn't pass through. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I have a kind of base in the mountains north of here. There's a passage through it that will get us to the other side. Us? You know, Hawk and Thrush. We'll find your friend together. Head to the western outskirts of Plainsong. There's a path in the foothills there that leads up to the base. I'll make sure someone greets you there and shows you the way through. Then I'll meet you at the camp on the other side as soon as I can. Thank you, Aloy. I knew running into you would bring good luck. Here, take this. May it help on your own hunt. I'll see you at the camp. Val, I ran into Talana and she needs to cross over to the west. Can you meet her in the foothills near Plainsong and show her the way through the base? Talana? Really? Sure. Will do. Thanks. Talana seems really worried about her friend. I should look for her the next time I'm at Camp Nowhere. Stay here. 